I was down to my last dime, no money, no job, and no prospects for one. And then he saved my life again. Uh huh. I need a new car. It was a challenge of a lifetime. It took me six months to come up with the design specs alone. Titanium construction, ablative skin cowling, trinitro propulsion units. He paid for everything. Cash. Found this site for a garage, too, and outfitted it to my specifications, and paid me real well. But he got his money's worth. All right, welcome to the channel, everybody. Um, today I have for you Iron Studios 110th Batman, the animated series Batmobile and Batman. So I decided to go down the 110th rabbit hole uh, just for this particular line. Um, I'm not really a completionist, but the facts are this was one of the greatest cartoons to ever come out. I got this, uh, so far I got the Harley, I'm gonna get the Joker, and I pray they go down and, you know, do all the villains. But um, anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into this review. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and start off with the base. Um, the base actually isn't as big as I thought. Um, we'll go ahead and measure it right now real quick. Uh, you're looking at about 22 and a third, about 10 deep. They're looking about an man, inch and a half high. So not very big, long actually, but uh, I thought it was gonna be bigger. Um, so basically it's just a, it's a simple platform. Uh, just got, some, got silver on it. Um, it's got mechanicals going around it. Um, now, unfortunately on this, if you can see that mark there, and if you go up here and you see that white mark there, you see this here, um, you see it down here. I mean, the, these are not, this isn't dust. These are actual markings that are like scratches. And this is not from the Batmobile. For me, I put that on it, missing paint here. Um, unfortunately, this, I don't know how this got past Q, QC, but, um, and these marks aren't coming off. I tried, you know, with a nice little wet, damp rag. Um, unfortunately, these are scratches. And obviously I'm not too happy about that, but um, anyways, um, let's get the Batmobile on and see uh, what this thing looks like. Okay, 
so here we have the Batmobile. Um, this is definitely a very long piece. Um, it actually hangs off the base in the front. Um, let's see, the measurement of this guy. Boy, you're looking at about 29 and a half. The widest part of this is about nine. And you're looking at about four inches high. Okay. Um, so right off the bat, um, you got your silver uh, hubcaps. The color of this, it's about, it's like a dark, a super dark gray, uh, no blue to it. Um, and then you got your silver mechanics coming out of the engine front hood, uh, nice silver, a little bit of shade to it. So it kind of shows a little heat score into it. And then your, the canopy here is painted black. And then you go back here, got some silver, you got some red coming out of the thrusters. Um, I'm happy they got a line here. I wish the line would have came down here just to make the cockpit look like it, it can open, um, but that's okay. Okay, so if you can see this on camera, if you can see all these white smudges going around, um, this is not dust. Once again, I don't know if this is supposed to be like that. Um, this looks like like when you bend plastic and you have that white, um, you know, the white scorn looking thing. That's what it looks like going across. Oh man, all this, this is not dust. It, it's as if like it flex and bent and obviously it's not plastic, but then I got a glue mark here, fingerprint, glue mark there. Got some scratch there. I, look at this, holy cow. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, this is not good. I don't think I'm going to end up keeping this, which sucks because I really like this piece. Um, anyways, you know, let's get, uh, let's do some close-ups of this and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with the back tire and rim. Um, just a basic silver paint on the rim. Um, the tire is a uh, polystone not rubber. And then uh, go to the side there, you got your uh, air scoops. And then here on the base, this is all the mechanic stuff I was talking about. Um, you know, it, it matches the base of the, uh, the 110 Batman. And then right here, go to the uh, front tire rim, same as the back. Um, and then this is kind of the front of the base. Um, and then you go to the front lights here, um, really cool color. It's a, uh, kind of an amber orange and, uh, what they are, are there's act it's actually a plastic lens in there. So it, it's, it's not paint or painted with like a gloss coat, but it's uh, actual uh, lens. So I thought that's really cool. They also do that with the 89 Batmobile. I thought it was really nice too. It's a good touch. So, and then you come up to the, uh, front uh, grill and as you can see the you know the uh, shading of it makes it look kind of look like it's uh, been scorned you know it's just some heat to it so it's really nice and then uh, this is the other side just the front tire same as all the others pretty basic um, then you get to the hood and you have the um, the vent tubes coming out which you know they're they're nice um, you know again though this model it's it's really just a basic statue so, and then you come to the uh, front lens here. Uh, these again are plastic uh, pieces that are painted black and mine are kind of loose, um, but uh, there's also black paint above there, which I, I don't know why they didn't paint the lens first and then glue it on after, but you know, then you can see the smudges on there as well. Those don't come off. Um, so kind of a miss, but anyways. Um, and then you go to the other side here 
that's that fingerprint I was talking about, kind of the glue mark fingerprint. And then you can see the white discoloration all along the side, just really not very good. So and then you come to the rear here, you got your uh, lights there, you got your turb or turbine along with the, the uh, thruster. Um, I really wish they would have put lights on the back fins because that's accurate to the cartoon, but um, you know, it, it, it is what it is. So, and then you go to the top here, the canopy, um, you know, this is what I was talking about, how they have the line up top there, but they don't have it on the sides and it's kind of all one. Um, I guess one can say this is a true maquette. This is how they do it in the films and stuff like that. Or, um, I kind of would have liked the line on the side there just to kind of give it the illusion that it opens up. But um, anyways, it is what it is. Um, but all in all, I love this piece. This has excellent presence to it. If you're an 18, or Batman the Animated Series fan, this Batmobile to me is in the top three. I love it. I'm getting, I'm getting another one. I, I already got my replacement on the way, so um, that'll be here soon. So hopefully I don't have the same issues. But again, as always, guys, you know, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate you all. And until next time, have a great day. We'll see ya.